Slippery Elm. Should you take it for acid reflux and for your gut healing? Yes or no? Hey gut feeler, in this video we're going to talk about Slippery Elm and I'm going to share with you how it works, what is this Slippery Elm all about, how to take it and everything you need to know to use Slippery Elm bark safely. So let's get the obvious out of the way. What's so slippery about this elm? Well, slippery elm is a tree that comes from North America and used in, in the North American traditions from the Native Americans. And why it's called slippery is because it contains mucilage. Mucilage is a substance that when you put it in water and you dilute it in water, it becomes kind of a thick gel. And exactly this slimy substance, the reason it works so well for acid reflux, gut symptoms and more that we're going to talk about in just a moment. Once you understand how slippery elm works, it's much easier to see if it's the right thing for you or not. The medicinal part of slippery elm that is used is the inner bark. So you have the tree here and then you take off the outer bark and in the inner bark you have like a reddish brown substance and this is the medicine. Slippery elm bark is a demulcent. Other natural demulcents are, for example, pectin from apples. You know when you make marmalade and you add some apples so it gets thick or you add some apple pectin? It's exactly the same category as slippery elm bark and also marshmallow marshmallow <laughs> and also marshmallow root is a demulcent. Now what are demulcents, right? Have you ever heard of a demulcent? Demulcent is nothing else than a medical fancy term like there are so many. For a natural substance that helps to soothe the lining of your stomach, of your intestines and also of your outer skin and reduces irritation. Which brings us to, is slippery elm bark the right thing for you to try out if you haven't done it already? Before I get you all hyped up and you want to go immediately to Amazon or wherever you purchase supplements and want to order slippery elm powder. First, make sure if you're dealing with any gut issues, just taking one more supplement, even if it's a natural one, is not going to be the solution. Because what you eat matters the most. It's the most quantity, it has the most impact, can feed pathogens, can kill pathogens. So make sure you're addressing diet first and then bring in all kinds of supplements, including slippery elm bark. Now, who this is for? There are two things that are obvious and a few things that come kind of a, like an extra bonus. Let's focus on the things that are obvious. It's amazing if you're dealing with stomach problems. Talking about ulcers, wounds of antibiotics, yeah, that antibiotics can actually burn wounds into your stomach and can irritate your stomach lining, which then causes inflammation. Another indication is acid reflux. Acid reflux, GERD, heartburn, if any acids are coming up and your throat is sore, then slippery elm bark can help to soothe this irritated lining and helps to soothe your stomach as well. Further down in the digestive tract, we have the benefit for IBS, for IBD, which is inflammatory bowel disease, like Crohn's, for example. And anything that dies with inflammatory can help to soothe this inflammation and regenerate the tissue with the help of slippery bark, elm, elm bark. And even further down, we have diverticulitis, which also is inflammatory, and then the hemorrhoids. So if you're dealing with painful hemorrhoids, applying a mixture of this paste externally but also taking it internally is a good support with all the other good things that you're doing including your diet. And for extra bonuses that are not so what that are not so well known benefits of slippery elm bark it can help with UTIs. If you have bladder infection reoccurring, there is this soothing effect of the mucilage that we talked about before. Another benefit is that it can help moderately with balancing your blood sugar levels so you don't experience these spikes and you protect your pancreas as well. Two more, slippery elm bark can act as a prebiotic so it can feed your good gut bacteria therefore also strengthen your intestinal health and last but not least on the benefits extra list is if you're dealing with anxiety with lots of stress exposure, slippery elm is here for you. of a plant phenolic component that it contains, which strengthens both your physical health, but also up here, your mental health. 
Now, before you go out there and just randomly take any slippery elm powder, I link you the one that I checked and that I use with my clients down there below. And now we're going to talk about how to use it and some advice of caution so you don't experience any side effects. Let's go. Starting with the moment of caution. Sometimes, not always, slippery elm bark can interact with certain medications because of the health benefits it contains. So the recommendation is to, if you need to take antibiotics or pain medication or acid blockers or whatever you're taking, take slippery elm powder at least one hour after your medication. Second important thing to be aware of is that slippery elm contains an alkaloid. An alkaloid are substances that the plants use to protect themselves. Therefore, it's recommended to not take slippery elm for longer than eight weeks for two months, and then take a break so your liver doesn't become too burdened because high amounts of alkaloids by the way, caffeine is an alkaloid, same as morphine, can damage your liver long term. Now, how to take it. I always recommend to check in with your treating naturopath if you have one or your alternative medicine doctor. But if you're just self-medicating right now, then the suggested dose is to use one tablespoon up to three times per day. You always want to start slow. If I haven't stressed this out enough in other videos, we always want to offer something to the body and see how the body reacts, if it's appreciated or not. So one tablespoon in a little bit of warm water mixed up to three times per day. You can also combine this, for example, with a mashed banana. It actually doesn't taste that bad. Or you can also mix it in your morning smoothie. Okay, now, if you haven't picked up your free gut healing cheat sheet, I want you to do that right now because those are six simple hacks that you can easily integrate into your daily life and that can help you to improve your digestive health naturally and it's for free. If acid reflux is an issue for you, I recommend you to watch this video about how to treat acid reflux naturally without taking medication, digestive enzymes, which also just mess up your body more.